Alright. Whatever works. Is this is this site really blocked by this bloody gate? What if I shoot the gate? The gate opens. Even better. Let's do this. Damn, that was a shot. Let's get that again in slow motion. Ooh. Damn, this, this little setup I have here is amazing. Well, amazing against melee opponents, which all of these seem to be. Saying that, that guy distinctly looks not melee. And the tower is ours. It's towers, you could say, if you had a terrible sense of humour. Okay, I found an alarm that Bert can actually hack. So go ahead, Bert. Take your time. Oh, nice one. Oh, Christ, hello. <laughs> Shit. Nice shot. Kind of getting used to the shotgun mechanics in this game. Boom. And secure. I am just demolishing these guys because most of them are carrying bloody melee weapons or really weak guns compared to the ones I've been fighting. Right, I'm going to guess that there are more enemies inside here. So first of all, disarm the alarm, then set up for a fight. Okay, open the door, chisel. Oh look, enemies! Pills, what are you doing there? I put you over there. Ugh. Still annoying. These are really quite easy fights. I mean, I take a few hits. Sometimes friendly fire. Don't judge. Just happens. Ooh. A toaster. It's a simple repair. Go ahead, Ralphie. Do your thing. Hair and shoulders. I need that. Wonderful. Good job. This door was booby-trapped and locked, so I'm hoping this is more of a weapons cabinet. It is not. What is that? It's a weapons cabinet with a dog in it! Yes! That was incredibly easy. 1 XP each. Aren't we the lucky ones? But, it means we get access to all of this. What's this? Oh, it's the transmitter. Oh, okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, the control panel, that's for the cage, okay. Let's have a quick word with the mayor. Burnt by the sun, bloodied and bruised by past violence, and locked in a cage several sizes too small, but somehow he's still smiling. That is not smiling. P please excuse my unfortunate state, strangers, my new constituents are practical jokers. You're the mayor of Rodea? Well, I believe I'm the former mayor now. I really did try to do something for this town. It, it's just the wrong thing. Stupid jerks. Why are you caged up like that? Caged is a strong word. I prefer enjoying enforced contemplation. And as the mayor, I'm the, I'm the one who invited these uh, leather people into our fair city. I have many sins to contemplate. So I try not to look at my situation in a negative way. Indeed, I believe it's doing me a power of good. Leather people is their name? Indeed, that's what they call themselves. I wouldn't think of calling them that as a pejorative. I hired these uh, people to help us after some trouble with the children of the Citadel. Well, we're certainly secure now. Indeed, the people have secured my house for their headquarters and our towers for their fortress. I've never felt more secured. Speaking of help... Do you need any? Help me? Oh, heavens no, I'm fine. Plenty more contemplating to do. 
But if you wanted to help the town, you might ask my old constituents. They probably love some help ridding of my new constituents. Your son is in trouble? Yes, I fear the jerks are torturing him. You see, now that I've become the mayor, he's taken over the family business, our distillery. The people have taken quite an interest in learning our old family recipe for tequila, and I'm very much afraid they're going to beat it out of poor Chris. If you could see your way clear of rescuing him, I'd be my very much obliged. Did they torture you for the recipe? Oh yes, but I don't know it. I always left the running of my distillery to my employees, much more interested in politics. Chris, on the other hand, is very hands-on. Learned the business at the knee of my old foreman, Ernesto, before he passed away. In fact, the only place that the recipe exists, other than in Chris's head, is in Chris's safe deposit box in the bank. And these days, I'm not sure that's the safest place for it. Hmm. Listen, you look trustworthy. If you wouldn't mind doing me a personal favor, if you save Chris, could you ask him to take the tequila recipe out of the bank and give it to you for safekeeping? Or if you somehow find your way into the bank, could you get in and hold on to it for me until I'm out of this cage? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Alright then. It's gonna leave you there. He seems seems happy enough. Ralphie, don't taunt him, that's not very nice. Okay, so this area is secure. I still need to take the headquarters located here. The casino located here, the distillery located here, and general guards dotted around the place. So I think if I want to end up there, I will work my way clockwise. So we have a pimp and a doorman there, set up for a fight. Let's see, can I get a headshot on the pimp? No, I cannot. Okay, that's that answered that. Who's this? A drunk jerk. I didn't see him there. Oh well, hardly an issue. How the hell did the doorman not take part in that? The drunk guy here did, but the doorman didn't. Alright. No need to move. And snipe him. Oh, I got him as well. And the peasant is an ally in this. Oh. Uh, we're bringing the casino people out. Including... Oh, shit. Pat the axe. Uh, this could be a tough one. Hopefully the peasant doesn't die. Looks like they're ignoring him. And Pat the axe is melting. Right. I've got endless amounts of dynamite that I'm not using, so it's time to start lobbing it. Ooh, that combat was a little bit closer to horrifically grueling, but I took out Pat the Axe relatively easily. Just the fire axe was no real threat. Look at all those casino thugs. So that means that building should be clear now. Okay, inside does appear to be clear. And luckily, there is a shop here so I can sell some of the crap that is loading everybody down. Uh, we'd like a drink. Uh, just tequila, not much of a selection. Okay, uh, we can pay. Oh good, he's got a thousand scrap I can sell. Buy, rather. Okay, let's just double check this place is clean. I've actually been into the back of here. This is where the prostitutes live. And a goat. <sighs> Rafi wants the goat as a pet. Go on then. We'll take the prostitute goat with us. Yeah, those eyes have seen some things you would not believe. Fun bags galore. And Johnny Two Fingers. Lovely. You're looking for a little magic? Twenty bullets not take care of you like you've never been taken before. No magic, thanks. Then keep moving, sweet cheeks. I got rent pay. I guess I'm continuing through Rodia. 
Hey look, Samuel's still alive. I meant to check that after the uh, synth attack. Has he got any money? No. Okay, I am in dire need of getting rid of some crap, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it on the floor here, because I just do not have the space for it. I'm literally carrying something called heavy weights. This one thing weighs eight pounds. <sighs> no one in this bloody game has any money, so I can't give it, I can't, I can't sell it to anyone. Because the only people who seem to have money are people who either dislike me or have already bought all my crap. So there we go. I've left on the floor all of this stuff. And hopefully it'll still be there when I'm done so I can come back and pick it up. If it's not, I don't care. Apparently I'm not spending enough money to to, uh, to make it worth selling all this shit anyway. On with the plan. Okay, we're ready. So... Take him out. Oh, it's just the one guy. Okay. Whoa! Who saw me? Oh! Didn't even see him there. Another solo guy. Told you there were just a few dotted around. Time to secure the clinic. Just make sure it's fine. It seems fine. Oh! Oh, Tom! Is it Tom? I think Tom was the one who fell over. God, that is horrifying! I'm not going to speak to him again because, Jesus, that was bloody terrifying! Let's go uh, see what Horchata's up to. Okay, clinic secure. There is another one there, though, who completely missed us. I guess he's doing the rounds. Well, better stop him. See who's helping. There's a guy hidden around the corner. There he is. Oh, that's annoying. Can't actually shoot the guy because the other... The, the peasant will get hit and then I'll get in trouble. He keeps taking damage. I don't know why. That was another solo guy, but I, there is a red up here because it flashed red. I, I, I saw that. I assumed he was coming in to help, but I guess not.